So as we start, 2024 is going to be different. We were straddled with all this garbage in 2023, intentional garbage. And I see that there's some stuff that's, that's already starting to percolate back up that they think they're going to start moving some, some uh, pieces. So we're going to be in court. Uh, apparently, this is not going to go away until every last one of them is sued. And, and that is exactly what I'm planning on and committing to doing. Um, so I see that they're trying to you know, form this legal fund. Well, that legal fund, they're going to have some problems with. Um, and I'm just throwing that out there because I'm going to be dropping my paperwork here in just another day. Uh, into the court systems. It and is so, not illegal to uh, cross we'll the court to fees or to pay an attorney. Judges do not care how you pay for your lawyer. It has nothing to do with them. That is a contract between the attorney's firm and the client. As someone who claims they are a licensed paralegal, you should know that, Betty. And I'm not. I I really just am over this crap. I think they're they're garbage. I think they're they're the commentary is garbage. Um, I think they need to do better. And I think they, they're going to say it's how to true crime. They need they to stick to true crime. They are commentary Because what they're doing is not Betty. true crime. Their focus is not true crime. They provide commentary on hot topics in the news, things happening on YouTube, etc. Most people do not consume themselves with murder every day. It is unhealthy. It is not drama. It's not crama. It is called bullying. It is a straight up bully channel. You got five minutes of commentary on a true crime case and the rest of the six fucking hours is complaining about some other creator. Maybe you need to look at yourself and review yourself before you're concerned about anyone else. I also found out the indigenous lady, the gluten, her skin is about as white as mine. Lies. All lies. I'm so tired of it. So tired. So, uh, you know, this court stuff that I'm dealing with right now has got me grounded. And I, I'm, I'm trying to get through this shit as quickly as possible so we can get to the other side of this so we can get back out on the road. On, we're not going to have a live here on the Bullhorn Betty channel on Wednesday at 630. I will be um, being interviewed by Morbid on his channel on Wednesday at 6 p.m. Now, people have reached out to me and it's like, oh, he doesn't mute his chat. He doesn't strike people. He doesn't do that. I, I get it. I understand. I understand it's not, you're not talking to a uh, somebody going into this interview fully blind, okay? Um, it, do I trust Morbid? I don't. I don't know him to trust him. But here's what. I give everybody the opportunity to lose their trust, right? I don't go in there and I, when, I, when I meet you, this, I, I'm a little different. And it, and it sets myself up to be hurt quite a bit. But I feel it's necessary. I don't care where you came from where you go, who you are, whether people like you, dislike you, I, I stay out of it. People come to me all the time saying, did you hear this? Did you hear that about this person? About that person? You should stay away. I, 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 I take people for face value. So I give you, you have all the love, trust, support. You are on a, a pedestal put high up into the clouds when you meet me. When you meet me, you have it all. You have my trust. You have my loyalty. You have my respect. You have, my, you have it all. I give that to you freely. You ruin those relationships, right? So you make me not trust you. You make me not believe in you. You make me pull my friendship from you. You make me do these things because of your behavior. I give you everything freely. If you choose to damage that, that's on you. So I hear people, some people don't like Morbid, and that's fine. I don't know if you heard, there's some people that don't like me either. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm a bad person, right? So I'm going to go on Morbid's channel. I'm going to give him the same respect and um, the same Courtesy, I give every single other person that I meet. I always give them of me freely and they have to lose me, right? So we're going to go on there. He, I've talked to him, you know, he's, he's assured me that this is not some kind of, you know, setup, but even if it is, even if it were, even if everybody in that, that chat was, was with pitchforks and daggers coming after Bullhorn Betty, I'm an adult <laughs> and I know how to just leave. You're right. I know how to just boop, probably day, should not have said right? that, Betty. The judge is now going to ask why you could not just be an adult and log off. So we know how to do this because we're adults. So I'm going to go there. I'm giving him the opportunity. I think, I, to be honest with you, I talked to the guy. I mean, you know, we are, we're all out here trying to to do our our creative, you know, niche. Right? We all have our our, our creative juice, we all try to do things. I, I think for the most part, you know, people 
are good people. Whether they get sucked into crap or not, I truly believe that there's a lot more good people, even though they act very poorly to be cool or to be noticed or to have, you know, to buy their friendships with these creators or whatever. Um, I don't know. I digress. Um, but everybody tries to do their own, you know, have their own creativity and do it in a, a way that's entertaining to their audience. And so, you know, I, to be honest with you, we'll give them a shot. We'll give them a shot. Uh, I think I, I like uh, giving shots to people that, um, because I, I will be honest with you. When he turned, when he, this is this is what I, I will be honest with you about. When I found out that, when I found out that he removed his channel and Deets on the Street removed her channel, I reached out to both of them and basically said, "I hope you didn't reach, you know, because of the hate. You know, stand strong, keep your head up, blah blah blah. You know, even though I know that they both have bashed me in the past, I, I didn't. You know, I never want anybody to be subjected to bullying and hate and 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 leave and you know have their channel removed, despite how they feel about me. You know, I, I just wanted to let them know that it does get better, and you know, I hope they stick around. So it's it's you know, I didn't want. Um, it's one of those things, you know. And so I, I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't leaving because of the hate on YouTube. And he told me, no, I'm just doing some creative stuff. And then, uh, you know, I hadn't heard from him in a while. And he reached out to me and said, you know, I'm coming back on uh, YouTube. I'd like to maybe interview you. And so I'm like, well, you know, I prayed for it for a really long time. I actually never responded to him. <laughs> I responded to him, but I never answered the question. I never answered the question. And so like a month went by, you know, and I had technical issues with my phone. And then um, I, I, and then all of a sudden one day I look and there's a text message saying, Hey, you know, I'd really like to interview you. And, you know, I know you can't talk about this, but I'd like to talk to you about other stuff. You know, do you have any particular stuff? I'm like, no, I'm trying to go with the flow. I always say that to anybody because I like to see the type of questions they ask. You know, are they are they antagonistic? You know, I, I'm oh, you guys know me. I'm always analyzing people. I'm always uh, looking to see what makes people tick. I'm always trying to identify personalities and it just it, it goes on organically in my brain. I don't even realize it does it. I just do it. It it, it just it's weird. I, I I'm weird. I, I don't know what to say. Okay. <laughs> His chat is horrible about it. Be careful, please. And you know what? That's that's another thing. I don't really care what his chat says about me or how they feel about me or, you know, that they hate me and want me to die. I don't another care. Another thing you should have kept to yourself, Betty. A portion of your lawsuit specifically states that QB's chat has caused you emotional distress. But today you admit criticism in a chat does not bother you at all. You do not care. So which is it? Um... So it's, it's not, it's, you know, I, I'm happy to help out. I'm happy to help out. He hasn't done anything to me personally. As a matter of fact, he, he, he serenaded me. Remember I had to, I had to turn him down. <laughs> I had to turn him down live here on the, the Bullhorn Betty channel. I'm sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Betty. We, we know, we know. He serenaded me. Just, you know, whatever. I digress. I digress. So what do we say? They ended up being like Bash and liking BHB. <laughs> Yeah, you never know. You never know. I'm really not a bad person. Like they, the reason why people hate me so much is because they they they, they think I was a horrible person. I mean, shit. If you looked at half those thumbnails and listened to the description of these people that have never met me before or never had a conversation with me and never said boo to me, never even understood what makes me tick, talking crap. Like I would think I was a horrible person too. But now I've been on here for two years and people see the work I do and know that I do work well. They're jealous. They try to stop me. They, 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 they literally try working around the clock. Like there's a few creators that I'm literally, it's sick. It's like literally mental illness on like that teacher in New York, like the teacher in New York. Um, you know, she's, she's a sick girl. She's got a lot of emotional problems and probably shouldn't be teaching our children, but nobody wants to talk about that. Nobody wants to talk about that. You know, she really does have some major problems in her life. I found that out. Nobody wants to talk about it. I can't even talk about the lady because I truly think she's a mental basket case and she's teaching our children. She's got emotional issues from deep-seated trauma. It's not my trauma to tell. She should not be teaching kids. She has she has gone off the deep end. And you guys are sitting there supporting her and don't even realize that you are that, you know, we sit here and talk about how we don't want to exploit mental uh, people that have mental illness. But yet you guys turn a blind eye to mental illness every single day when you support these creators that are clearly have problems. And this teacher does have problems. She does have problems. So I, I I can't, what can I do? Right? Because everybody wants to, if I go after her, what are they going to say? Oh, she's got a mental problem. She shouldn't be teaching fucking kids. She needs to go to therapy and get her shit worked out. She's a danger to her children. 
Just saying. Oh, no, she's not. You're being mean, Betty. Okay. Well, when one of those kids get hurt because she decides to have a nervous breakdown, what are you going to do then? You guys don't want to believe it exists, but it does. Has anybody even asked her? If you guys want to help her, get her into counseling. But no, you guys aren't about helping anybody. You're about drama. It's just sick. These people are fucking sick. Sorry. That's that's really it. I'm just kind of, you know, complaining, right? Complaining. What I tell you guys, don't, don't do. Don't complain if you don't have a solution. Seriously. So last night on Turtle Island, I was going through and I was trying, you know, I was, I was going through the list and trying to call, you know, who, uh, because I'm not paying $5. Sorry, Dolly, you're not, you're not getting $5 out of, of out of Bullhorn Betty. I, I feel that um, I should have a free vote every, every week. Like, <laughs> I feel like I should have a free vote every week. I'm Bullhorn Betty. Get Bullhorn Betty, a, a, you know. Somebody, I want to vote somebody off. You know, I'm, I'm in the. I don't want to save anybody mode because I've been rah rah. You save our people. I want to vote somebody off. So I'm trying to decide which person I want to vote off more: crimes of fashion or JLR. I'm not sure. To be honest, I tried twenty thousand times to call into the damn show. Dolly Bullhorn Betty needs her own life. PJ, do something about this this issue I'm having here with your your man. Okay, uh, when I need to call into the show because my vote matters. <laughs> it's all about Betty. But I'm still here doing this back to you. So now that we know we're <laughs> Do we think we poked enough fun? Did we trigger anybody today? I hope we did. That's my bread and butter, right? Triggering people. I think I'm good at it. They call it being prude and unprofessional. <laughs> I call it YouTube. <laughs> made my decision i have just i had made the decision who i'm going to take out next week we got to go to the strategy they kept saying strategy i'm like what strategy you guys are kicking your friends off hey, what strategy it's so funny you hear all this strategy i've been around the block a time or two this is what what my third uh uh turtle island that that strategy nonsense is is for the birds you wanted to vote your friend off because you wanted to kick them off quit quit trying to be nice and say oh it's just strategy <laughs> you secretly didn't like them and you said bitch you gotta go don't lie <laughs> yeah, I think the strategy of the Bullhorn Betty is uh, CNF needs to go. CNF needs to go. <laughs> I'm not going there. I did abbreviate her name, didn't I? And, I? and when I abbreviated it, so many little names just started popping out of those abbreviations. <laughs> <laughs> See enough to go. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. I'm going straight to hell. I'm going straight to hell. Robin, save me! Save me from myself, please. Go make it a great day. <laughs> Get out of here. It's Monday. Okay, go go have your manic Monday somewhere else. <laughs> Don't forget to rock it out with your coffee beans out.